All right, the last couple of things we want to do on this block right here, let's hollow out the bottom and let's round over some of these pieces right here. So you see when you get a little round over, it looks a bit nicer. Uh, everything in real life has that little rounded edge on it. You know, if you, if you didn't have that little rounded edge, it would hurt when you touched it. So first thing, let's uh, hollow out the bottom. There's a couple ways we could do this. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a rectangle in there and then extrude that in. So let's hit start sketch. Let's click on the bottom plane. And so I wanna get this outer rectangle and I wanna make sure the width of the sides is exactly 16th of an inch. Um, so one thing I'm gonna do, this is kind of a trick, this project geometry. If I ever wanna reuse a shape or something that I already have on there, so instead of just drawing another rectangle right here, what I'm gonna do is click Project Geometry, and I'm just gonna click where the whole thing is highlighted. And what you can see is it puts that little yellow rectangle around it. Basically, it just copies that rectangle we already have. Then, I'm gonna use this Offset button, and what the Offset button will do is it will make a line that is parallel to your line. So I'm gonna click Offset, I'm going to click on my line, and you can see I can come in or I can go out. Offset's a pretty nice tool. So I wanna offset it a uh, 16th of an inch in. So I'm gonna type in one slash one six, hit enter. I'm gonna hit finish sketch. I'm gonna just kinda rotate so I can see it. And I'm gonna use the extrude tool to click on the bottom rectangle I just made. And you can see I can push it out or I can go all the way in. Uh, this one, I'm just gonna eyeball this one. About right there, that looks good. Looks like it's about 16th inch all the way around. Um, so that is .6875 if you wanna type in the number, hit okay. All right, so there's the hollowed out bottom. If you want to, you can take some measurements and you can add the bottom tubes and everything. Um, what you would do is just start a new sketch, click on that face on the inside, and then you could, you know, draw a circle, take the actual measurements, draw the circles, and then extrude that outward. Um, and if you look at the actual block, it doesn't actually come out all the way flat. It's actually inset a little bit. So something like that. Uh, you don't have to do it. You can take those measurements if you want to, if you want to make it look really good. Last thing we're going to do is we're going to add what are called fillets. So that's that little rounded edges. So if I click on fillet right here, it's not fillet, it's fillet. What it does is it gives you a nice round over. Um, so right here is your radius. So if I click on an edge, you can see a smaller radius is a smaller round over, a bigger one. You know, uh, let's just put it at, let's try a 16th, see what that looks like. So that's maybe a little bit heavy, but that's okay. Um, so you can see I'm clicking, I'm spinning around, and I'm clicking all of the edges that I want to apply it to. Uh, we can add it to the bottom here if we want to as well. So if something like that happens, so I clicked that edge and it, all of my preview went away. So that means that it doesn't like something. So I'm gonna make that smaller. I'm gonna make it one thirty second, which is probably closer to what it actually is. All right, so I have all those edges there. And then what I'm also gonna do is I'm gonna click on the, both the outside and the inside of each circle. Right here. And you can see it's rounding those over as well. And you know, this isn't absolutely necessary, but it definitely makes it look a lot better. It makes it look a little bit more realistic. And then the last thing everybody wants to do is change the color. So let's change the color right here. So up here at the top where it says default, so that is the material that this thing is made out of. So two things, one if I just, if I don't have anything highlighted, like nothing on the block is highlighted, 
if I click this default, let's make this like, uh, they have brass. Let me see if they have brass. Look at nice brass color. Look at that. So, so that's how you change the color of the whole thing. If you want to change the color of just a single part, like if I want to change color inside like that circle right there, I highlight that and I can click on that. Or if I click on like the extrusion over here, so if I click on that extrusion, you can see all those studs are highlighted and I could change that if I wanted to as well. So different ways to color it, just make it look however you want it to look and it'll look great. Uh, when you're done with that, make sure you're saving your work. So go to the save button and hit save. And when you're done with the whole thing, turn the whole thing in, have the directions say to. All right, and now we have a beautiful looking Lego block.